with a great record as a manager, and with regard to exceptional performances, of the teams he has managed so far, many pundits consider him amongst the best coaches of his time. Eric Ten Hag is Manchester United's seventh manager since Sir Alex Ferguson's retirement. He arrives with the pressure of returning the club to the top of European football after a near decade of mediocrity, and in hiring him, United has opted for someone who has a track record of developing youth, playing attractive football, and winning titles at Ajax. Despite the apparent fit, there's still an element of the unknown about him. The Hawksbergen native is being tasked to do what David Moyes, Ryan Giggs, Louis van Gaal, Jose Mourinho, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, Michael Carrick, and Ralph Rangnick haven't been able to do. This Herculean task is no other than returning the club back to Sir Alex Ferguson's glory days. Ferguson, who was appointed manager of Manchester United in November 1986. During his 26 years with Manchester United, he won 38 trophies, including 13 Premier League titles, 5 FA Cups, and 2 UEFA Champions League titles. Ferguson created a dynasty of his own at the club. He built several great teams and achieved his goals. In May 1999, he won an unprecedented treble for Manchester United. Truth is, the Manchester United limbo has lasted long, and this club needs a savior manager. On Thursday, April 21, 2022, Manchester United announced the appointment of Eric Ten Hag as men's first team manager on a three years contract, with the option to extend for a further year. Ten Hag has risen to become one of the most respected managers globally over the last few years. The present Manchester United manager was born on February 2, 1970, in Hoxbergen, Overijssel, Netherlands. To parents Joe Ten Hag and Henny Ten Hag. He is the second born of his family, with an older brother, Michel Ten Hag, and a younger brother, Rico Ten Hag. The Dutch football manager is from a wealthy home. Ten Hag's family are proud owners of the Ten Hag real estate and insurance agency in Enschede, Overijssel, Netherlands. His dad, Henny, now 79 began the family company at the age of 23. As a kid, Eric Ten Hag developed the hobby of collecting football cards of his hero, Johan Cruyff, at Lursing Supermarket. He is a coach who plays attacking football. Though a defensive player in his playing days, Eric spent most of his playing career spread across three stints with FC Twente, with whom he won the KNVB Cup in 2001. He is a man who conceives a bright vision and hard work. A sharp, ball-playing, central defender in his playing days, Ten Hag played as a centre-back for Twente, De Grafschap, RKC Walwauk, and Utrecht. He spent three seasons with Twente, where he won the KNVB Cup in 2001. He also won the Erste Divisie with De Grafschap in 1991, ten years before Twente won the Cup. After the end of the 2002 Eredivisie season, he retired from active playing at 32, while playing for Twente. Ten Hag was appointed manager of Go Ahead Eagles in the Erste Divisie in 2012. He led the team to its first promotion in 17 years during this time. He went on to coach Bayern Munich 2 from June 2013 until 2015. During his time as manager, Ten Hag led his team to the Regional League of Bayern. Ten Hag then became the sporting director and head coach of Utrecht in the summer of 2015, where he led the club to fifth place during his first season. In the 2017 season, he improved FC Utrecht's final position to fourth, booking a place in the UEFA Europa League qualifiers. He was appointed head coach of Ajax in December 2017, and in 2019, Ten Hag led his Ajax team to the UEFA Champions League semi-finals for the first time since 1997. By winning against holding champions Real Madrid 4-1 in the Santiago Bernabeu Stadium at the round of 16 stages. After that, he also won Juventus away 1-2, having drawn the first leg 1-1 at home in the quarterfinals. In the first leg of the semi-final, he led his team to take a 1-0 lead against Tottenham Hotspur in the recently completed Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. However, in the second leg, a hat-trick by Lucas Moura for Tottenham Hotspur, with the final goal coming in the 96th minute, to make it 3-2, 3-3 on aggregate, to win on away goals, ended Ajax's hopes of reaching the final. He won his first managerial trophy with Ajax with the 2019 KNVB Cup, followed by the Eredivisie title, which brought a double for the club. In 2021, Ten Hag guided Ajax to their record-extending 20th KNVB Cup.
In January 2022, he became the fastest manager in league history, to reach 100 wins with Ajax, achieving the feat in 128 matches. His football is exciting, and progressive. Eric Ten Hag likes his team to keep the ball. He is attack-minded, and looks to be in charge of the game with lots of possession. He is an attacking manager, influenced by Pep Guardiola's positional, and possession-based style of play. He is also very keen on pressing from the front. He has been praised for his tactical versatility, in using a false nine or a more conventional figure up front. Guardiola taught me a lot, Ten Hag said in February 2019. His philosophy is sensational, what he did in Barcelona, Bayern Munich, and now Manchester City, that attacking, and appealing style sees him, win a lot. Ten Hag continues to say, this is the structure, I've attempted to implement with Ajax. Ajax used a 4-3-3 formation, and rarely deviated from it, with overlapping fullbacks, inside cutting wingers, and a clear, flat midfield structure. Attack is the best defense, and it's difficult to score against us as, first of all, we attack with 11, and defend with 11, Ten Hag told ESPN. All the players in our way of playing have a job, and have to do that job, with 100% discipline. Achieve that, and it's difficult to score against your team. Ten Hag doesn't rotate his players for the sake of it, either. He often keeps the faith, with a familiar-looking first 11 for the big matches, but the nature of the Eredivisie, and Ajax's strength relative to much of the league, means he has the luxury of being able to shift key personnel, out for matches against the smaller teams. On a lighter note, Eric Ten Hag might just be one of the few Dutch persons, without a van attached to his name. We hope that he has just begun, making history at Manchester United. Ten Hag was appointed manager of Manchester United, on April 21, 2022. The contract spanned from June 2022 until June 2025, with the option of extending for another year. Ten Hag's departure from Ajax was confirmed, on May 16, 2022. So, that he could begin his preparations, as Manchester United's manager, for the 2022-23 season. He was officially introduced to the Manchester United family, at Old Trafford on Monday, May 23, 2022. Ten Hag's coaching staff was later revealed, to include Mitchell van der Gogh, his former Ajax assistant, and Steve McLaren. With his arrival, many questions arise from various factions of the footballing world. Will he be able to perform? Can he deliver? Because bigger names have been appointed in the past, but couldn't live up to expectations. After a chastening start to life at Old Trafford, the Dutch coach has transformed the Red Devils, into a team chasing an unlikely quadruple. Eric Ten Hag's reign at Manchester United, could not have got off to a worse start. After losing 2-1 to, to Brighton at home on the opening day, the Red Devils travelled down to Brentford, where they were soundly beaten 4-0. The result was treated with the sort of frenzied reaction, that should be expected when United is on the wrong side of a drubbing, with naysayers warning that the club was damaged beyond repair. But just a matter of months later, Ten Hag's side is threatening to sneak, into the Premier League title race, and challenge for four trophies. After so many false dawns, United finally appears set to shake off, the malaise that has shrouded Old Trafford for a decade. The Dutchman has been the architect, of this quite remarkable turnaround, instilling discipline, making some inspired moves in the transfer market, and improving several players, that had previously appeared destined for the scrap heap. The 2021-22 season was seriously rough, for Marcus Rashford. It began with a niggling injury, and he never got going after that, finishing the campaign with a sickening 12-game, scoring drought in the Premier League. In truth, Rashford looked unmotivated, and uninterested at times, and there were loud rumblings that he might call time, on his United career in the summer. However, Ten Hag's arrival has transformed his fortunes. It is no overstatement to describe Rashford, as the most informed player in Europe right now, with the 26 goals, he has plundered in all competitions already, surpassing his tally from any other previous season. Ten Hag's role in this resurgence is pretty simple, really. When he first met Rashford he told him, I want to see you smile, I want to see your teeth. Now we see it often. I think he's in a happy place, the whole dressing room is in a happy place, there is a lot of confidence and belief in this squad. 
Rashford's improvement is the textbook example of 10 Hag's impeccable man management skills. He has restored the forward's confidence, and the thought of him being sold is now completely laughable. Recently, Ten Hag's red wine-fueled meeting with Sir Alex Ferguson made headlines, with the current United boss revealing that he cannot wait for the next one. Harking back to the glorious Fergie era has been less of a help and more of a hindrance for some of the Dutchman's predecessors, but it's clear that there are plenty of similarities between the pair. Most strikingly, like Ferguson, Ten Hag runs his dressing room with ironclad discipline. No one has been immune from the code of conduct this season. Even Rashford, in the form of his life, was dropped to the bench after arriving late to a meeting. While big money signing Jadon Sancho, was placed on an individual training program, to correct his mental and physical struggles. There has also been a clear change, in the way the players address the media, something Ten Hag explained, following his side's one-to-one -one draw with Crystal Palace back in January. What I want to bring in is a culture of high standards, values, accountability, and transparency. So honestly that is our values, that I want to set in control, both internal, and external with the media, and the fans, he said. Two men who saw their power at United, dwindle almost immediately after Ten Hag joined, were Cristiano Ronaldo, and Harry Maguire. The Ronaldo saga, was an important battle for Ten Hag to win, according to Wheelers, as it served as the perfect opportunity to lay down, a marker to the rest of the squad. Ultimately, the five-time Ballon d'Or winner, was shown the door by the club during the 2022 World Cup, and United has lost a few games since. Club captain Maguire, has also seen a marked reduction in his own playing time, with Lisandro Martinez, and Rafael Varane being preferred in central defense. Generally, Ten Hag has got almost everything else right in the transfer window so far. Lisandro Martinez's signing, was widely panned in the summer, most notably by Jamie Carragher, who has since been forced to backtrack, following the Argentine's superb form. Christian Eriksen, incredibly, a free transfer, has proved to be an inspired piece of business too, giving United a far more incisive edge in the final third. The cream of the crop, however, has to be the signing of Casemiro. Costing £70 million from Real Madrid, the Brazilian has had a restorative effect on the United midfield, adding much-needed solidity and control by breaking up the much-maligned Scott McTominay-Fred pivot. Under new owners, Ten Hag could be handed a transfer war chest, and the club would be wise to listen to his recommendations, due to his near-spotless recruitment record. The principal appeal of bringing Ten Hag to Manchester was that he represented a type of manager that United have not yet tried in the post-Fergie era. Namely, a young, modern coach in his prime. Unlike Louis van Gaal and Jose Mourinho, whose peak years were behind them, when they took the wheel, Ten Hag is part of a group of innovators expanding the coaching frontier in 2023. Implementing a sophisticated tactical system that allowed Ajax to dramatically overachieve during his time at the helm. Thank you for watching. Do subscribe to the channel and click on the notifications for more videos on your favorite sport. And until the next one, please stay tuned.